gives you revelation and God provides you. He leads you to go through struggle. The Lord said, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. Not when you are standing on the shore. Our life is not mere just grace, grace, grace. Yeah, everything is grace. God will provide. God has forgiven my sins. I am given license. No. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 10 says, Let grace be shown to the wicked. Okay, you are wicked and let God's grace be shown to you. But merely receiving grace, people who receive mere grace, the Bible says, yet they will not learn righteousness. They will never learn what is right, what is pleasing to God. Grace will not teach. Grace is different from mercy. When we have sinned against God, we ask God for mercy. And God sheds his precious blood and forgives our sins and makes us sinless. That is called God's mercy. God's grace is something which is given to us for which we don't deserve. Titus chapter 3 verse 5 onwards. The book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5 to 7. You, you understand what is grace. While we are still sinners, Jesus died for us. That is mercy. But something for which we don't deserve. And now I am a sinner. Samson is lying, lying at the feet of that prostitute. And thousands of Philistines are coming in front of Samson. Now Samson, get up. Your enemies have come. That woman has tied him up with a big rope and a thousand people are standing with the swords and spear and his state he is in sin the wages of sin is death because he is in the hands of a prostitute he is drunk and he deserves death only when he asks for mercy the blood of Jesus can heal him but he is in sin. God anoints him. He gets up. With the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes. He saw the bone of a donkey. With that bone, he finishes up those thousand people who are with a sword. That is called grace of God. What you don't deserve, God provides you. But that doesn't mean next day the same Samson left to that lady. No, you showed me to this Philistine. She finished up that lady and, and next day he went and sinned with another lady. Now the Spirit of God who gave the grace to him as we read in the book of Judges chapter 16 verse 20 he did not know that the spirit of the Lord left him. He thought like earlier times, whenever I have problem, the grace of God will come to help me. Whenever I sin, I can sin whatever I sin. But the grace of God is there for me. It will protect me today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, till the end. He thought. He thought like other times, I will shake off. Whatever is tied, I will shake up and go away. You can't shake all the time. You can't play with your sin. Yes? But, the, but he did not know. But he did not know. That the Lord had left him. The Lord had left him. And the enemies came. They plucked out his eyes. Tied him. And he died a horrible death. A mighty servant of God. Grace was given for a particular time to know himself, to repent for his sins, to return back to God. That's why 
it is written do isaiah 26:10 let grace be shown to the wicked yet still they will not learn what is right before god and they will not behold the majesty of the lord those who talk about grace is only for what you can get out of god but life is not found only by what you get out of god life is found by when you get the lord you and i are called not merely to have and possess and enjoy what god gives to us but god himself god wants us to have him to have fellowship with him to listen to him to join with him in his mission and if it is needed even die with him on the cross yes you and i are sent to this earth with a mission with a purpose your struggle is a revelation of your mission your problem and pain yes god never allows you to go through struggle for your death he allows you to go through certain situation because god is basically god of life god of salvation and god wants to give life and salvation to the particular situation to the particular person and god found you as his instrument his child and he has put you he has placed you there that you will be waiting on the lord you will be hearing the voice of god you will receive the revelation and you will bring life and salvation to that situation when monica was tired of her husband a dranga coming and beating her day and night she went and told the parish priest it is better i live without him so i want to leave him and go away the priest ambro said i will pray for you and tell you tomorrow next day when she went father ambro said monica if this man would have been given our fallen into the hands of some other woman that woman would have left long ago but god has given this strangled man into your hands because you have to take his soul to heaven only you can save his soul maybe somebody has done hundred souls but for you god has placed this man if this man would have been married to some another lady that lady would have gone long ago god has placed him that dranga to you he is dranga his father is a dranga his grandfather is a dranga womanizers but they are now that man is put into your hands through you that curse in the generation is going to break how is it she started to pray god told her when you are now is the time for your husband to come go and search for him evil spirit is saying no he is a drunkard he has destroyed your future the lord reveals no he is a gift he is the he is the person whom god has given to you as a mission get up go search for him find where he is lying bringing home remove his shoes put oil to his feed him she started to show love he was transformed by that time he was drunk at no his liver is gone intestine is gone heart is gone he was almost dying he looked at monica smiled and said monica i would have died like a pig in the dirt 
but today i die like an angel at the lap of an angel he closed his eyes went to heaven my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord